Welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel. And I just got to talk about this article from the USA Today, written by Carly Mallenbaum. It's entitled, The Next Tom Cruise? The Brie Larson Got Ripped! Did Most of Her Own Captain Marvel Stunts. Let's check this out. Brie Larson may not be quite able to shoot beams of energy out of her fists, but as for the other physical requirements of starring in the comic book movie Captain Marvel, let's just say, don't mess with her. Larson, a first-time action star, but long-time serious actor, trained for nine months to get fit to play superhuman Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. I just assumed everybody did their own stunts, but it turns out they don't, Larson told USA Today on the Captain Marvel set. It was happy ignorance, I guess. Happy ignorance was required. And for several weeks, two-a-day workouts. Well, she uh, she's very good at happy ignorance. She's she's stellar at happy ignorance. Um, okay, so it would be a half hour in the morning of stretching and stuff on my own. Then I'd go with my trainer for a half an hour or an hour and a half. Then I'd go home, shove a bunch of food in my face, Twinkies, donuts, cupcakes, take a shower. Ugh. Take a nap under infrared light, wake up half an hour later, put on another set of exercise clothes, and go to the stunt gym and work with the stunt team, Larson says. By the time Larson was shooting the film, which involves plenty of combat scenes and punch throwing, she was able to deadlift 225 pounds, do 10 pull-ups in a row, and hip thrust 400 pounds, which is something I never thought I'd do. Wow. Well, I will say for a little lady, 225 pounds isn't too bad. It's a good place to start. Captain Marvel producer Jonathan Schwartz, who also produced the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, called Larson the next Tom Cruise. That's going a little bit far. She's not no Tom Cruise. On any Marvel movie, stunt doubles would be doing 99% of what she's doing, he said on the set. She spent so much time at the stunt gym. We had... Uh, sort of say, you you need to get some rest. Stop pushing yourself so hard. But when you see this movie, the amount of practical stunts that she's doing by herself boggle your mind and make you say, I can't believe they let her do it. Well, most of the, most of the trailer scenes involved her falling on her face. So I, I'm pretty sure I can fall on my face. I'm really good at it. In fact, I did it just last night. Slipped on a pair of pants on a tile hallway while I was running to go freaking get my kid's recorder. Boom! Splat! Hit my freaking knee. Oh, it, it, I cried for about 15 minutes. So I'm pretty sure she she's pretty good at that. While intense workout mode, Larson sent clips of her preposterously difficult workouts to the co-star Samuel L. Jackson. She had one video where she was powerlifting like 250 pounds. She sent another video to her pushing a Jeep up a hill, Jackson says. Excuse me for my Jackson impersonation. It isn't very good. He's just got too cool of a voice. He, he really does. Like, yeah, she's pretty ripped. That was a little bit better. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. And that, I, I guess that's it. So what do you think about this article? How stupid is it? I think it's very stupid. She's not the next Tom Cruise. And I think they're um, counting their eggs before they're hatching or something of that nature. Anyway. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like this. That would be nice. Subscribe. And keep your eyes on the horizon.